Hi guys, let's jump into our daily editing for Monday, February 8th. This week, our featured book of the week is called Mr. Le uh, sorry, Escape from Mr. Lemontello's Library. It is a fun, awesome kind of like mystery, um, especially if you like puzzles or board games. Highly recommend. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right now and so you guys can watch. Um, a, They're actually making a movie about it, I think. So this will kind of tell you, um, give you a little book trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, behind these doors is a library where the books come to life. Hi, friend. I'm Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Oh, my God. Get ready. Jack and the Beanstalk. Please meet Mother Goose. What? For an adventure. What is that? <laughs> that's not by the book. <laughs> As you solve puzzles, you will gain access to the clues. Oh, bingo, baby! These clues will help you to answer the big question. How to escape from Mr. Lemoncello's library. Twelve will enter. Maybe we should form a team. Definitely. We're gonna crush you. But who will escape? Get out of here! Wait, don't... Let the games begin! Let's do this. In this world, imagination is everything. So it's a Nickelodeon movie, I guess. Highly recommend. I'm sure the movie's out there too, but the book is just as excellent, if not better. Um, I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's, it's a short and easy read. Let's jump into our daily editing though this week. Okay, so Monday we have Mr. Lemoncello flourished his arm toward the ballroom doors. It's time to go across the street. Your amazingly spectacular new public library awaits. All right, I have two mistakes. Um, I definitely zone in right here. I know that punctuation is wrong. First, it's the exclamation point. Um, sorry, the exclamation mark. Now the exclamation point, sorry. And then the quotations. Next, one of our words shouldn't be a contraction. It is time. That works. You are amazing. No, it's just capital Y. Make sure you capitalize that. It's the beginning of the sentence. Y-O-U-R. Next, let's make an inference. What do you think the word flourish means, okay? So think about the way Mr. Lemoncello would say that, okay? Is he kind of guiding them toward the ballroom doors? So he's motioning toward them with his arm. That's how I picture it, okay? How would you know? Because he's telling them to go to the library next, okay? Next, all right, we have which of the following words is an adjective? I'm not going to give you the answer here, but I want you to think which one of these words is a describing word because that's an adjective. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know.